<laughs> Alright lads, what's happening? I am Lawrence Cheney from RuPaul's Drag Race UK Series 2. And in this week's challenge we had to undertake the Snatch Game, the most iconic part of Drag Race. And guess what? I f it! <laughs> Don't joke about that. Oh my god, listen, I am so happy that after months after filming this, that I can finally talk about the absolute chaos that was Snatch Game. So, if you want to see how I transform myself into this look, but most importantly want to talk about Snatch Game, then keep on watching and relive the trauma with me! <laughs> yes, it is I, your very own local thumb, Lawrence Cheney. Yeah, now, as if I wasn't depressed enough, I'm about to paint my f Humpty Dumpty size head to look like I was in the prehistoric times. So, first up for my brows today, I'm switching it up, guys! It's what happens when you lip sync once you've got to switch it up. I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Soft Matte Foundation Stick in NW60, thank you very much, and I'm going to use this on my brows today because it's lovely and dark, and uh, right, I'm drawing my eyebrows, okay, here we go. Baby, pour a glass, feast your eyes on a bonny lass. Now I'm going to take my Premark foundation, but we are changing everything up this episode. I'm using the Premark foundation in <laughs> cool sand. Yeah, different shade. We're not using porcelain today because I ran out. <laughs> That's a pandemic, listen. Right, and I'm just filling in in between my Mona brow to make sure it's not a Mona brow before we go any further. I'm going to fill in my forehead with my... Do you know what? That brush is f***ing useless. I'm going to go in the rest of the foundation on my forehead. And then do you know what? To add a little bit of depth, I'm not just going to powder contour today. I'm going to put a little bit of that same MAC Studio Fix foundation stick that we use for our eyebrows. I'm just going to use a little bit. I don't know if anyone at home can uh, tell, but I do feel very uncomfortable about talking about this. Yeah, so, let's talk Snatch Game. I have joined the illustrious list of comedy queens that cannot do Snatch Game. <laughs> the way I'm trying to look at it, if I'm honest, is at least every episode so far, I've won something in it, you know? The first week, I won the mini challenge. The second week, I won Leader of Lord Knit Up. <laughs> It's a badge. Episode 3, episode 4 and episode 5, I won the main challenges. And hey, episode 6, I won a lip sync. I think my opening line was fierce. I'm Miriam Margulies and I'm a thespian lesbian. In my head, I heard cut, print, have a break. <laughs> and RuPaul asked me loads of questions and I was just like, duh, duh, lesbian. Lesbian rights, hello, lesbians. So shout out to any of my lesbian friends or fans out there. I do not hate any lesbians. I'm so, so sorry if you were offended tonight. Now you all know that I like contouring in stages, so I'm taking my next professional makeup, Highlighting Contour Pro Palette. Yeah, I can remember it today. Um, and I'm gonna take some of the shades, darker shades, and I'm gonna contour my temples. Yeah. Now it's the sexy part where I cut under my brow with some white Krylon TV paint stick in shade 070. Oh. You guys have seen me do this many a time before. I'm just warming up some of that white on the back of my hand. And now we're going to go in and do the other side and cut under the other eyebrow. Yeah? No! We're going to skip through this process very, very quickly, I promise. I'm going to go ahead and do my nose contour, which never changes. It's always the same. I always do the same face. <laughs> I get it. Now I'm going to carry on with my normal foundation routine. Just the huge. I don't know about you guys, but I personally think Bimini was like the standout in Snatch Game by far. I thought like... Everyone else was really good, but at every 
everything Bimini said was just gold as Katie Price. I mean, Bimini embodied Katie Price because practically they were born in the same womb. There's me giving you my perfect Flintstone fantasy, and then Bimini's on the f***ing runway as an amoeba. She's got a point. She's an icon. She's a legend. And she is the moment. Now, to match how we contoured our forehead, I'm going to go in and contour my cheeks, nose, my chins, and we're going to make it look like I've got a lovely neck. With this look, it is very similar to all my other makeup looks except for the eye makeup. So the interesting part and the kind of intricate part is in the eye makeup. You've seen it all before, skip along. <laughs> Could you just cut that out? <laughs> now that's the base all done. We'll worry about finishing touches and highlights later on. But now it's on to the most interesting part, the eyes. For my eyes today, what I want to achieve is a nice, um, normal kind of cut crease moment with some smoky black eyeliner but for a wee bit of a gag I want to do some tiger stripe almost like lines to mimic the tiger stripes themselves and I also want to draw in some individual hairs in the eyebrow just to add a wee bit more detail because you know I knew I was up for elimination so I had to make up for it somehow. Okay. The kind of vibe I'm going for is the Kylie Minogue Two Hearts single cover. Hers is based on like electric uh, lightning bolt liner, but I wanted to go for a wee bit more of an au natural tiger stripe vibe, but in the same kind of angle so it all brings the eye up. I suppose the good part of this is, unlike the Kylie liner, it can be a little bit different on this side because you're going for that au natural tiger stripe vibe. We'll change the title of the video actually, who am I kidding? It's not prehistoric, I'm just the Tiger King. I'm kidding, I'm not Joey Exotic, I don't have 17 husbands and I'm not going to jail and I don't hate Carol Baskin, I love Carol Baskin. Well no actually, maybe, maybe she did kill the husband, well who knows. Right, anyway, moving on. Aye, right, kind of this vibe. Now we're going to go in with some nude eyeshadows, we're going to flesh all this out before cutting the crease. Now for my eyes today I'm using the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette and I'm taking the colour Coco I'm not joking bitch I'm going to start popping that in here The idea is you want this to just kind of jut out and start that kind of shadow off Now just adding the black truffle eyeshadow from the Huda Beauty Palette so I know a lot of you will still be shook at how I launched Cheney did so badly in the Snatch game. You know, so many people blame the edit and I genuinely, um, uh, the, the edit was not the problem. Mama, the call was coming from inside the house. <laughs> it was really unfortunate and, you know, before coming here, Everyone, you had said, oh well Lawrence, you know, sometimes the fashion won't be your thing, sometimes this, you know, won't be your thing, but the one thing you're gonna slay is Snatch Game. And all I saw was some red lights in my eyes as soon as the cameras started rolling. <laughs> and it's one of those things, if it was in any other situation, you go, right, cut. Like, if this video, if I wasn't doing my best in this video, I'd go, all right, no, cut, we'll do it tomorrow. There is no doing it tomorrow on RuPaul's Drag Race, you know what I mean? Now I'm going to cut my crease with my second favourite liquid eyeshadow that's glittery. It's the Huda Beauty Matte and Matted... Ma ma <gasps> Why? It's the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Shadow. Duh! Option-wise for Snatch Game, I had loads of options. Probably a bit too many options. I had... Uh, Miriam Margulies, of course, <laughs> you saw how that turned out. I had Sherilyn Barnes, Iconique, Fanny Craddock, um, and of course I had Subo, but I was a wee bit worried that I would um, offend the Subo, so yes, it would have obviously been funny, but my god, I did not want to offend the Susan Boyle and make her have an existential crisis. That was the last thing I ever wanted to do, so I went with someone that I knew I loved, but was it a good idea when Graham Norton's on the judging panel to do someone that's actually close friends with Graham Norton and the judges all knew? Nope. We all make choices, but that was a choice. 
I feel like I've let myself down and all the fans down, but from here on out, we're gonna laugh at it and we're gonna forget it. To fill in my big bingo wings of eyeliner, I'm gonna use the Kiko Daring Look Eyeliner Marker. So basically, it's a glorified Sharpie. Right, I'm gonna try doing something I tried doing at the show, but I failed miserably at. I'm gonna take some of my Huda Beauty Matte Metal Melted Shadow. <laughs> got the line right now. Um, I'm going to take it just on a little flat angle brush and I'm going to try and do some lines parallel to the black ones just to add a wee bit more depth and flair and make it a wee bit more bold and dramatic and gay. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Me, look at that. Stunning. Me. This is gorge. <laughs> oh, right, zoom out. I'm gonna do my lips and all the finishing touches. For my lips today, I want them nice and nude and brown. So I'm taking the sh brown color from the fake Eye Magic Flash palette. Now this color's called Shite Brown. Uh, I love it. It uh, is look shite. And I'm just going to trace the outline of my lips and fill it in. Right, it's very messy, but I'm going to go ahead and fill in my lips. It's uh, the MAC Liquid Lipstick in Espresso. I'm just going to use that. And I'm not going to ombre this, I'm just going to do it as dark as it goes. Right, so I'm going to pop off camera, put on my gown, my wig, uh, my earrings, my lashes, and just so you know, I um, when I was at the show, I just got a can of spray paint because I had a little extra moment and I got a bit of cardboard and cut out a stencil and then spray painted that while the wig was on my head. But I'm not going to do that in front of the camera because it's the most f***ing insane method ever done and I do not endorse anyone tries to do it, does it or watches me do it. So with that in mind, I'll be right back with the finished look. This ain't what you want, bitch, I'm a fucking phenomenon. And this is the final look, babes. I had so much fun recreating this look and reliving some trauma with you all. Yeah, no, it really feels great having everyone on the internet and in the streets laughing at you because you're the most unfunniest comedy queen in Scotland. So much so, Ellie Diamond did better than you at the Snatch Game. Ha! Now, in my defence, I'm not making excuses for anything, I'm just explaining something. At Snatch Game, you're obviously asked the questions in real time and you have to think of an answer on the spot. What is an eight minute segment on a TV show? It takes about an hour, hour and a half, two hours to film the Snatch Game. I didn't know because I didn't have a phone or a watch to check because I was bombing so hard. Snatch Game takes so much longer than you think it does. Uh, to film on TV, so you know, I, I think I had funny moments. Like, I think the intro line of "My name is Miriam Maglies and I'm a thespian lesbian." I think that's funny. <laughs> no one else did. I honestly don't know what went down in my head. I think it was a brain fart. In fact, who am I kidding? It was definitely a brain fart. And for Snatch Game, you're not allowed any notes with you. Your mum's not allowed to write you a letter. You're not allowed anything. They even check your hands to see if you've written on your hands. And yes, help. <laughs> Now even though I did land in the bottom and I did have to lip sync to a Kathy Dennis classic, I am thrilled that I am here for another week. The sad part about lip syncing was sending home Tia Coffee. I think Tia Coffee is an incredible drag queen. Yes, you know, we, we voted her Baroness Basic and does she have the most in tune fashion sense? No, but 
she is an incredible performer. She's an amazing singer. She's so funny. I hope you love me still. <laughs> Even though you told me to shut up, I probably deserved it. <laughs> love you, Tia. Love you. The nails that I wore on the runway this week were by the amazing Swoon Nails. Swoon Nails is where you need to go. This dress was made by my amazing friend Connor at Get Frocked UK. This was one of the last outfits we made, but I'm so happy it's such a curvaceous and well-fitted outfit with a lovely big gaping wizard sleeve. For the scratches, I wanted it to look very much like RuPaul in the Sissy That Woke music video. You know, pure sex with pure scratches all over the place. And I got my friend Kim Chaos at Exotic Echidesiest to stone said scars. As for the jewellery and some of the sculpted pieces on the headpiece, <laughs> when it existed. Um, I sculpted them myself out of Fimo and then baked them in the oven and then uh, my dad drilled through them and I threaded some string through them. <laughs> Budget! But anyway, what shall happen next week? Will I be on top again? Will I be going home? Who f knows? It's like a Sherlock Holmes novelette. Thank you so much for all your love and support and remember to click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you know the moment I put up a YouTube video. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Do you never just want to leave some of your sperm babies in someone's mouth? <laughs> oh my god.